So going back to the example that I showed you, so we've got this sentence, a very simple sentence here. One of the things that I can do is to write a list comprehension. So I would say like a word dot lemma like this for word in sentence. So we can actually see that the uh, lemmatization is happening here, which I showed you in the slide. So this is how we do the lemmatization. If I want, I can also uh, do something called uh, part of a speech tagging. Uh, so if I do like word.pos like this, then you can actually see that you know the part of a speech tagging for each word. So it has actually tokenized the words and it has actually determined you know what kind of words they are the adjectives pronouns verb etc so if i want to um just extract the adjectives it would be like word for word in sentence if uh word dot pause equals to uh, and you write it like that adjectives so here we go so we have actually extracted only the adjectives so doing so despite the fact that i mean it looked you know quite simple um, doing such a thing especially extracting the adjectives would be really really good if you are actually working with any customer reviews and you want to kind of calculate or determine their sentiment uh, but just wanted to show you that how we can apply some NLP techniques when we are dealing with a sentence. Another thing you can do is just, you know, change that to the verb. And you see that, you know, the only verb that we have is, is called was. I would actually, you know, ask for this to just show the lemmatization version of the verb. And that's actually B. Um, I can do that for the adverb if there if there is any adverb there's no any adverb actually um, so we can do you know uh, things like that in here so yeah that's the first thing that we can do which would be a good start uh, so we have actually learned how to do the lemmatization and um, if you want you can also do something like that if uh, like word dot uh, lemma or word dot lower i think for word in sentence here we go so this one actually has done the lower case for all the words uh, but it's not necessarily the lemmatized version. In fact, it is not the lemmatized version of that because you know it has kept the uh, original word here, which is was rather than be. So I mean that's the difference between like lowering the case and doing the lemmatization. So now what we can do is that we can write a function that actually receives all the sentence that we have stored in our JSON file for all these Wikipedia pages. So loop through all these text and then do the lemmatization and also, you know, lowering the cases if you want to. Yeah, and then the next step would be removing the punctuations and uh, so on. But just to tell you, you know, the limitation of this lemmatization using a spacey, what I have realized was that it doesn't remove the uh, apostrophe S. In fact, it doesn't separate the apostrophe S. So let's actually find a sentence in which it has the apostrophe here. So like this one. So it says his party's nomination. So if I put it like on my sentence in here, you see what happens. Okay. So I run this code. This is the sentence I've got. If I do the um, lemmatization only, like that, so that would be word.lemma for word in sentence. Here we go. So you can actually see, instead of keeping the word parties together, so there's party and then apostrophe s, 
it has actually separated the apostrophe s and that's one of the limitations that I realized that it exists so what we need to do is that we can manually so instead of using the lemma uh, function of a spacey we can actually remove the apostrophe s ourselves in fact it's a list and it has some words in it so um, what we can do is that we can manually remove anything that we want and in my case actually I want the apostrophe s to be, to be removed and uh, I'm going to remove that manually as well so before doing the lemmatization so we remove the apostrophe s and then we do the lemmatization and then I'm going to show you how to remove the stop words so there are some words here that you know should be removed such as of in and these things because they they, they happen frequently in every sentence in every text so uh, and after that we are Good to go. So in order to remove the stop words and the punctuations this is how we need to do it. So we need to import the stop words uh, from the spacey library. So uh, have a look at this code. We import this library and then we need to import a string and in the string the punctuation method so in string dot punctuation and uh, we can save it into a variable called like punct punctuations. So we're going to run that so that's fine. Then I'm going to define a function which is going to remove the apostrophe s as mentioned and I'm going to remove this manually by myself uh, rather than doing it through a library. So I'm going to call it text cleaner and uh, it receives the argument called like sentence. So you're going to give the sentence to this text cleaner function and it's going to remove the apostrophe s and uh, it would be sentence dot replace. So I'm going to replace the apostrophe s with nothing okay and let's save it into a variable what name should i give uh cleaned sentence sentence i hope the spelling is right yeah it is okay so that's for this one and then uh, i'm going to say return cleaned sentence and so this is the function let's test it so text cleaner and then i'll grab one sentence which has apostrophe s and it must remove it such as this one so here let's try it on this and Yep, here we go. So it has removed the apostrophe s. So after the word bush, you see, there is nothing after that. So it says, you know, there's a dash and also, you know, apostrophe s, it has actually cleaned it. So that's good. It shows that our function is working. Then the second step is to tokenize it. So uh, we need to write a function that is called a uh, tokenizer, let's say. Uh, and then we uh, carry on with that.